ta 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 Good day fellas, I hope you are doing well as promised today we are going to have a Q&A session with Vivi, hello dear. Hi guys. So, what are the rules? Well, there is no rules whatsoever, you sent like shit ton of questions, I believe there was like thousand questions as a bare minimum. Absolutely, there were probably, probably thousands of questions, but uh, obviously we chose just a couple of them. Um, to be able to answer uh, in the time that we have. Um, the most important thing, we took the questions which was repeated multiple mm -hmm. times, right? That's uh, that's how we are covering the most of the people and you will know some things which you haven't knew before. So honey, what do you think? We can start our journey and you will see the questions could you yes. appearing maybe even here, we'll see. Yes, I am prepared, I have all of the questions in my phone, so let's start with the first one. How did you guys meet? Um, was it from streaming? And for Vivi, what attracted you to skill? That's a tough one for the for the first question for a warm up. Yeah. Honey, <laughs> you need to answer into this question. What can I say? I will look cute and I will look into the camera. Let's start with uh, how did you guys meet? Official version whenever we are streaming is uh, she is a great cook. She was making pierogies. I was uh, in the pierogi competition and I ate her pierogies and oh boy, oh boy, I never ever uh, uh, thought about anything um, than that since then. Uh, but the reality is very, very simple. Both of us were streamers. Both of us was single at the time. We started talking. Uh, we got some um, some topics to talk about and so on, so on. And from talking on the internet, we met. We After that, we started living together and uh, easy peasy. Yes. Yes. So it was from streaming and for Vivi, the second part of the question. And for Vivi, what attracted you to skill? So the, <laughs> the standard air answer that probably skill would give is a red ass, obviously. Um, but um, answering in a serious way, personality probably. I mean, that, that was the... I cannot choose like one thing that, you know, that made me fell in love or whatever. Just... Uh, red ass. Let it be. <laughs> okay. Second question. Where do you find time for her in all of that world of tanks? The question is, we, uh, how do I found, find the tank for you? Yes. Easy, fellas. Look, look at this. Every single of you are having jobs or you are students or majority of you have jobs, right? So how the things are looking like? If you have a job from 8 to 6 or whatever, after that you have a free evening. Well, for me, it's a bit different situation. I have a bit free of the middle of the night and I have the whole morning and the whole day. And in the evening we are doing the job. So easy peasy lemon squeeze it. That's how we are finding the time. Another one. Vivi, what do you think about your boyfriend gaming so much? And does it affect your relationship in any way? <laughs> what, do I think? what do I think about skill gaming so much? I treat it as his job, as he also thinks about it. I mean, this is the job. It's in different hours than the standard work day but obviously i mean i am not mad i am not offended i don't feel bad about it whatsoever this is how he makes a living so it's understandable uh, honey uh, please look at this as a job i will look at this as a gaming oh good <laughs> uh, does it affect your relationship in any way Oh yes, absolutely. I'm sad she's not playing World of Tanks as much as she used to, so we are all the time, both of us are angry. She loves Arta, I hate Arta. I Ex love light tanks, she hates light tanks, so you know. That's a bullshit, honey. That's a bullshit. Another one. Are you willing to do a video where you play in Platoon with me, with Vivi? Depends how much you are going to pay for no, me. No, honey, no, invite me, no. Yeah. I'm waiting for years for that. You're not inviting me at all. Le let's have a deal. If you are going to play the game for one month straight, we are going to play in Platoon together and we are going to do the recording. One month straight. Every day? Every day. How many games? Oh, at least 10. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, you can track that via both live. Her name is Bibi Sirius. That will be painful. Okay, let's go. Uh, what looks like your daily routine? 
What routine? No, our days. Day routine. Fellas, first of all, you need to have a day routine. Pretty much what we have planned is from 6 to midnight or uh, till the 1 a.m., 2 a.m. stream. Before that, usually make a YouTube video. So uh, YouTube video starts, we are making YouTube video at 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. Then we are sending that to Kyler's and then we can do whatever flying if we want. Uh, we can drive somewhere next to the sea for a walk or we can go somewhere for food. Epic food today we had, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, absolutely. So uh, pretty much we are living a normal life if that makes sense. Although our activity is in the evening and instead of uh, in the, from the morning to the day. That's it, that's how it looks like. Yes. Do you have anything to add? You forgot about McDonald's after every stream. <laughs> no one would tell, no one would tell. Okay, uh, how old are you both? I am 26. I am mentally 13, uh, physically soon 30. In September 18, I am going to celebrate the 30th birthday. And I don't know, can you see that? But I have some white hair already here and here. Mm -hmm. And probably that's definitely not from the, uh, not <laughs> definitely not from you, honey. It is from playing the game, okay? What is that idea, <laughs> honey? That was me. I'm joking. I'm messing with you. Fellas, uh, please uh, keep this in mind. I'm a sarcastic person and you need to keep this in mind. <laughs> no, nice. Vivi, what is your favorite tank? I love your videos. Skill continue like that. My favorite tank. The, the, the important part that I have to say is I haven't been playing World of Tanks like for a year from, from today. So. And what is the reason why? Because at some point games became so fast, I wasn't able to mark tanks anymore. And this is what I was trying to do. Obviously, I am not super amazing player, but I was trying to get some third marks on some tanks. And at some point it was doable. After some mo a moment in the game when there were EBRs, when there was a lot of RT, it's, for me it just became impossible. So I lost my main goal in the game and I just lost the interest. Yeah, but my favorite tank, I wouldn't say there is one. What I always loved was French tanks in general, starting with light tanks, uh, which are amazing. And also medium tanks, bad chat. I love French tanks in general. When comes Little Baboon Prince? Uh, I need to say this is one of the most common questions we had. And fellas, we can uh, promise you that whenever we will make this decision, even before calling for the bird to bring it to the garden, we are going to inform you personally with all this. Uh, so yeah, that's the answer to your question. We needed to we needed to answer that. I mean, when you are having uh, five questions about the child on one page visible, it's it would be mean from our side to not to even mention this. So yeah, this is the answer. How long are you a couple? No, how long we are in a couple? No, a couple. no. <laughs> we are. I can tell you that we are living together for one year, close to two years, I would say. No, honey, I'm bad with a date. Stop crying. Kid. I know, I know. One year. Is this guess? One year, seven months. I th I think we are together. To be fair with you, I don't remember exactly either, but I'm sorry. As well. <laughs> but I think like over a year, over a year, a year. We I are think... living together for a year already. No, not a year and a half, around. So around. who is correct? Who is right there? No, no. Yes, you won. You won. <laughs> mm, easy. Uh, did Vivi know about Twitch before? If no, how sh did she react? So in a way we answered that question already. I was streaming myself before, so I knew uh, Twitch uh, in general as a platform. I obviously knew the Baboon community because I am a subscriber for quite some time. 
So yeah, I knew the Twitch and for me, uh, the fact that skill is doing that kind of job wasn't a um, surprise. I'm quite sad you left the, the Twitch and you stopped streaming before making at least one uh, pool stream, to be fair with you. I'm disappointed. Honey, we can still do that. We can still do that. Nothing nothing is, you know... We definitely done. can. <laughs> Wait a second. Do you want to do that? <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> uh, I won, fellas. I won. <laughs> Uh, now we have a question about Katitka and the question is what breed is Katita and how old is she? Katita is approximately five years old and she is Lithuanian Dvarniashka. What that means, fellas? She's what that human. means she doesn't have a breed whatsoever. She doesn't have a breed, right? She is... Uh, um, we got Katita a long time ago and pretty much the couple wanted to uh, pretty much couple wanted to get rid of her because they have uh, probably they if I remember that correctly they save they saved Katita from somewhere elsewhere and the situation was like this the woman was pregnant so they pretty much wanted to get rid of the cats and everything by the way Katita is not looking looking very very great and Katita is saying let me go so Katita sorry I am not going to disturb you anymore. So yeah, uh, so Katita is around five years old, plus minus, give or take. Yes. Next one. What Vivi likes about, sorry, what Vivi likes the most in skill and skill in Vivi? No, honey. No. no. Uh, what I like the most, sense of the humor and her uh, punishing me for my stupidity and for my mistakes. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing uh, answer. You need you need to admit this. And I did not even knew about this question, by the way. <laughs> no, nice. Now everyone will think I'm beating the crap out of him. Because it is the case. <laughs> uh, and what uh, do I like the most in skill? Um, no, I probably I would say... How clean I am. No, sure, sure, obviously. How you... I am not leaving, leaving the candy uh, <laughs> papers of wraps all over the place, right? Oh yes, yes, that too. Uh, but but serious answer would be probably um, that skill is staying calm, and he always predicts positive outcome in a stressful situations and this is a very very good um, feature to have and it also inf like influences me in a good way oh yes. that was that was so damn deep Whew. no but that's i am true. sweating i'm yeah. sweating now <laughs> that's true okay let's go farther this one is for skill uh-huh have you ever seriously considered quitting vote oh this is a vote related question if do why did you decide to keep playing? Well, for me, it is a bit different situation. As many of you know, I do not play any other games and I am looking at this as, as my job, right? So for me, situation is a bit different uh, compared to 99.999% of the people. Do I have frustration days in World of Tanks? Definitely, yes. Uh, do I even think about quitting the game? Currently, I'm not thinking about that and I never did. Uh, there is situations when I'm getting overburned. If I am overburned, what that means, I am taking vacations uh, or some days off just to refresh my brain and to go back to the rhythm. Right? Same like you, you, you are doing whatever, whatever you want. You are a doctor, you are a sales manager, or you are, doesn't really matter what you are crafting wooden dildos, right? You are still having some vacations and vacations are very, very important and that and this is the thing which is keeping us sane so that's the answer to your question another one how long it took for katita to make friends with vivi one remember? week one week i think i mean it depends how you uh, how you understand make friends obviously the the relation was changing in time we are we were getting closer and closer but if we are talking about accepting me as a person in the house i think it was quite fast as fast as soon as i gave her treats she she was fine with one that. weekend it was fine and she was probably responding into uh, you uh, showing the treats and saying <laughs> Trrr. Oh, yeah. and overall i believe quite some of you noticed that now whenever we are making a youtube videos or streaming katita is majority of the time uh, not here mm -hmm. i blame her no that's true we spend a lot of time with katita we talk a lot we hug a lot you know we we have a connection so yes absolutely and i am the victim here 
Would you ever consider having a dog? Uh, answer would be very, very simple. At this point, definitely not. Uh, and I can tell you why. Not like we don't like dogs whatsoever. We like dogs and overall animals uh, um, in general, especially bugs, right, honey? <laughs> especially, yes. <laughs> no, but uh, with all seriousness, Katita is running around, don't mind her. Uh, in all seriousness, if you want to have a dog, you need to take care of the dog properly. Go for a walks and everything. And I am not willing to put the time and effort to that. It's just simply because of the time, right? Uh, in order to take care of the dog, you need to have, you need to put a lot of effort and time overall, right? Yeah, yeah. I can tell you from the experience, having a dog is extremely time consuming. And in general, I would say we don't say no for a life because we love animals, we love cats and dogs. And maybe at some point we will decide to have one, but not now. And plus on top of that, if we are somewhere away, I can't uh, ask my parents, which is already uh, going to the, um, you know, elderhood, if I can say. So my mother is 70 years old, my father is 67 years old. Uh, so how the things are looking like, imagine that we are going to get whatever, some kind of golden retriever or whatever German Shepherd, doesn't really matter. I can't ask them to go and to walk uh, the dog all over the place because those dogs, they need walking. They need, like, I think as a bare minimum five kilometers, right? I don't know how much in kilometers, but there are some dogs that are, first of all, they need a lot of activity and second of all, they are also, like the, the breeds that you just said, they are also big so it is also a factor that you know we sure. cannot we cannot tell people or ask people to take care of, of a 40 kilograms dog here you go no, okay the next one did your relationship between vivi and you change your life i guess this is for you and if it did in which way did it change and don't you dare to say i effed up uh, it changed in a very, very positive uh, way <laughs> because now whenever I am making a mistake, I'm getting beaten and uh, you don't know this drama behind the screens whenever yes. I am calling to, uh, <laughs> to police and I'm saying this is animal abuse. I am beautiful <laughs> baboon and in fact baboon king and uh, you know how the things are looking like but in all seriousness everything uh, obviously changes the life whenever you are uh, allowing the new pe person to enter into your life everything is changing in a way right so i would say everything changes in the positive way thank you next one oh uh, we will talk a bit yours and vivi's favorite food I can I can answer into her her question part very very easily. Everything what is Italian, she loves it. Mm. Uh, like pasta, uh, any everything, kind, any kind of pasta. I mean, in general, we love food. For I think you are you have more things that you don't like than me because I I think I can eat almost everything except weird things like bugs. I wouldn't eat. And it. especially the fresh meat. You love fresh meat. For example, chicken with a with a with a smell, you know, of the fresh chicken smell. No, no. <laughs> I mean, not the village smell of the chicken. This is not like my favorite thing to go for. Uh, but in general, we like food a lot, and we can eat a lot of different things and a lot in amount too. Honestly, I can tell you one thing, there is no such thing as bad food. If the food is made well, uh, it is going to be good. Uh, but obviously, there is some things which we don't like. For example, I don't like onions, but I can eat dish with onions. You can definitely mm -hmm. prove that. I can even taste the olives, which I hate with a passion. But once again, if I don't like it, I don't like it. And uh, probably the thing which we are never ever going to taste uh, once again in our lives is going to be the... Uh, oysters you know that that slurp it yeah this is this is which we said no but other than that honestly every single kitchen have some good things and uh, we are definitely open to taste absolutely everything you are more open than me to taste everything and when i'm saying everything it means more um, no, yeah more than i can accept but i will watch you with pleasure 
And I will record you Fellas, eating it. if we are going to um, ever have a trip to the um, Asia or, or whatever, right? We are, they are a bit more open with the food. For example, you can get some kind of bugs or worms or something. I can promise you that I would taste it at least once. And if I would not like it, I would say I don't like it. And that's it. What is your favorite thing to do when not streaming? Couch wrestling. You know what that means, fellas? That means uh, having one hand in the pants and watching TV like El Bundy, if you know, from Love and Married. Uh, so, yeah, easy. Easy answer to this question. What is your favorite thing to do? When not streaming? When you are not streaming. <laughs> when I am not streaming, yes. No, I like trips. For me, even to go next to the sea, to go to eat somewhere, you know, to go out of the of, of the home, to go and to meet new places and so on. For me, this is something we that have, is very attractive. We have some plans in the future to show you a bit more of Lithuania. So um, stay tuned for that. For example, Lithuanian food cuisine, um, some Lithuanian famous mm -hmm. places, uh, some views overall. Uh, and show some good things about the Lithuania. So stay tuned for that, fellas. Yes. Hi, Skill and Vivi. What was the <laughs> what was the funniest, the most embarrassing moment you guys enjoy enjoyed together? Oh, this is a good <laughs> one. So imagine that the first trip, uh, my first trip in Poland. Everything is fine. We had, I think we are a couple days already together in Poland, no. plus minus, and we went for some kind of bar. And I had a need to take a sh humongous shit, okay? I had a need. What can I do? Oh, what I'm doing? I'm standing up, tar -tar 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 -tar, going to the, to the restroom. Uh, and obviously, since I'm from Lithuania, we have no problems whatsoever. There is always a toilet paper there. In Poland, I did my thing. I, I am ready. I am looking. Where is the toilet paper? Nothing. Imagine that. I'm going out of the cabin without any pants, anything. I am checking it out in the next cabin. Nothing. There is no paper. I'm checking for a hand, uh, uh, for a washing hands, you know, uh, maybe there is some kind of thing where you can uh, pretty much do this things and you are going to be fine. No, nothing. No. What I can do, I'm putting the pants uh, up and that's it. And I'm having a brown stain. After that, I said, obviously for Vivi, honey, listen, uh, there is an accident. Uh, some bad things happen and I don't have my phone. I can't call for her. Honey, bring it. And when I put it up in, it's pissed dead. Either way, it is it is ruined, okay? So what we are doing, we are quickly effing off. We are calling taxi and then taxi driver. <laughs> was the best. I shitted my pants with, together with him in the taxi. It was the in best taxi, moment. imagine that we are sitting in the back seat and in that place where I was sitting, there is a smell. Uh, there is a smelly thing which is killing the smell and I'm thinking, oh, even taxi driver knows I shit my pants. He very, very prepared. nice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was, this is definitely um, the best uh, story like that of, so far. Okay, what country would you like to visit the most? Probably, we, the answer would be simple. Probably we would love to visit majority of the countries, mm -hmm. but the most uh, in our visit list, there is probably two or three countries. Probably uh, first one would be Italy. Mm, for food. For food, food mostly. mostly yes. uh, after that, Croatia for views. Uh, it is very, very nice. And after that, honestly, that's it. I think those are the two countries which we are dreaming about visiting the most for now. For now, yeah. But I mean, there are so many places that we would like to go and see. We would like to see Asia. We would like to see states. I mean, this is my childhood dream to to visit states one day i i don't know if there is a, a place where we wouldn't say yes let's do it sure thing uh, canada states mm -hmm. whatever but the thing is we cannot for now we cannot think about going neither to the asia or neither to the to the states canada whatever mm -hmm. north or uh, south <laughs> america we just cannot think about that because it is very very time consuming what do I mean by saying that is whenever you are having a job as a streamer or YouTuber, YouTuber is one thing, you can pre-make videos and you can F off for two weeks, no one will notice you are gone. 
But speaking about the streams, if you want to kill your uh, um, grind and to kill what you have made over the five years or something, just go for vacations. One month there, one month there, one month there, and people will simply forget about that. So it is just simply not doable, unfortunately. Another one. You already have a nice home and an amazing car. What is your next planned big purchase? Um, I don't know about the purchase, fellas, but my next dream is so the other day I was watching the uh, movie which is called uh, Monkey Planet or or how it's called. I can't remember how is the movie called, honey. Planet of Apes? Maybe? Planet of Apes. So you know my next plans, fellas. You definitely do. <laughs> Uh, another one. If you have to choose one best and worst thing about your job, what would it be? I guess this is for you. So, The best thing is actually meeting different people and by making uh, people day. This is the best thing to be fair with you because there is all sorts of situations when a person is saying, I'm speaking about the streaming mainly. YouTube is a bit different situation because you are not having a direct contact. Uh, but streaming would be you are meeting the person which is having a bad day and if you can make him smile uh, or or say I am dealing with my depression uh, better by watching your stream, that's the biggest thumbs up. Uh, so um, I believe that's the answer to that part of the question and the worst thing is probably how time consuming it is. Uh, if you pretty much in the current schedule Let's say we are not including YouTube. We are streaming six times a week when we have a Monday off uh, and we are streaming for as a beer minimum six hours, but it depends. It can go up to seven, up to eight, up to nine hours when there is special events going, for example, drops or something up to 12 hours a day. So uh, it's probably how much time consuming it is. That's it. Mm -hmm. Baboons, how has life been together? Has COVID affected your relationship? I think we can uh, answer for the COVID uh, affected your relationship part. Currently, I wouldn't say so, but it affected that, uh, us at the beginning. Uh, and it was very hard emotionally f for both of us, I guess, at the beginning. Mm, so uh, we met once in Poland then we met the second time in Lithuania and I remember uh, when we were saying goodbye at the airport I said to Skill see you in two weeks <laughs> uh, because that was the plan that I was about to come here again in two weeks no and we saw each other after that six months later yeah, the the first wave hit pretty much at that point, so everything was closed and it was game over. So pretty much uh, it was very, very challenging to have a relationship via the distance. That's the most disgusting thing. But overall, whenever you are living together with other person, it is not affecting the relationship uh, either way. I can understand that whenever you are having uh, a daytime jobs and you are going to the other place, right? Maybe then... Uh, um, maybe then, you know, the, the traction can be an annoying thing at home, especially when you are living in the flat and you cannot go um, anywhere, right? But in this kind of situation, we have quite enough of space to move. We are not being pain in the ass for each other. And after all, I'm playing the games for and, and making a living in this way. So what can I complain about, right? So, yeah. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Another one. Uh, do you only talk in English to each other or Skill is learning some Polish, Vivi learning some Lithuanian? No. 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 Čo ti robiš? Ja per dole. No, honey. And now everyone will think I'm teaching you those kind of things. She is teaching me those things. I, I know so many Polish words. Uh, you have no bloody clue. <laughs> so, whoo! <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we obviously speaking in English with each other, but it's impossible not to learn a bit of the Lithuanian or, or Polish language. Skill knows a bit, very, very a bit of Polish because sometimes I'm speaking in Polish naturally, especially when I am mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of all this. When you know, the, when you are living together with a Polish woman and when Polish women start speaking in Polish language, run. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, and obviously I need to learn a bit of Lithuanian language because I live here so I mean I, I listen to Lithuanian language all the time basically so it's impossible not to learn anything but those are just like absolute basics this is not like I could make a sentence she or... can she can easily say žuvis, uh, which means uh, fish easy she can say thank you Achu. and she can say hello no, no. No. Lebadiana. So here you go. Easy. Okay, you mixed me with hello because it's not good day. You know, it's a different. It is. It is completely fine. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> That is a nice one. I, okay. I, I think my Polish language knowledge is better than her Lithuanian because I know the most important uh, word uh, speaking about the flowers and, and I know what gymno means and I know what uh, other words and so on, so <laughs> on. So, yeah. Okay, another question uh, considering uh, Poli Poland and Lithuania. Polish versus Lithuanian cuisine. Honestly, there is quite some similar things and a lot of different things in the same time. I would say they are pretty, pretty uh, similar, pretty similar cuisines, except I would say in Lithuanian kitchen, the dominating ingredient is potato, potatoes and in Poland, onion, <laughs> I would say. So um, prob <laughs> probably, probably that's the thing. But in general, I believe we have so many similar um, dishes. It's I wouldn't say it's a different different word. Yeah, we are very very pre uh, we are pretty damn close. Although there is some places in Poland in the mountains there is some kind of cheese and everything in Lithuania do not have this. Although you can find um, similar things, but not top notch the same also just for uh, just let you know in lithuania you can find zeppelins pretty much everything mm. everywhere and in poland it's very very rare and only in the north part i would say yeah close to the border i mean obviously you have this region um, influence right so there are some places in poland when you can get something you can't get in lithuania and other way around also, one more thing when we travel to Lithuania, I can tell you that, you know, the bird stork, uh, the white bird with uh, some uh, some black feathers or something, red, uh, red, red, red nose, nose or yes. peak. Yeah. Um, I can tell you that some of them um, have a bit of the problems with navigation because we saw quite of them in, in Poland, although they're <laughs> supposed to be in Lithuania. So, yeah. <laughs> True that. Okay. Uh, another one. Hi, my baboon lord. Do you still have a Cayenne? I would love to see a driving video. Uh, yes, we do have Cayenne currently. It is uh, it is being polished or how to say this? Wait a second. Ceramic coat. We are putting ceramic coating on it. But yes, we are still having uh, the same car. Uh, car had absolutely no problems whatsoever. Uh, apart with the things which you need to change, which is the brake discs uh, and so on, so on. Some rear and tear uh, um, things which you need to change on any car. But other than that, we have a car and we'll see maybe one day we are going to have um, a video driving with skill. Maybe we'll see. Uh, if you both wouldn't or couldn't do what you do, what else would be your dream job? No. What is your dream job? Couch wrestling is not a job, honey. Don't even think about this. I would probably do something with music. She loves music and she loves singing and uh, this is this is fair answer. From my side, honestly, I don't know. I am feeling extremely blessed and extremely lucky. Uh, because in the current situation, I am uh, roughly 13, uh, 30 years old and uh, I do not have diploma like uh, education, for example, speaking about the university. So honestly, I do not know what I could do, right? Um, I think I was in the lucky place at the lucky time and uh, this is the, I am just lucky, honestly. Uh, what I would love to do, probably the 
other dream which would be interesting is to travel all over the, all, uh, all over the world and to share experience with others aka doing maybe some kind of traveling vlogs or food testing uh, for example i believe you know there is pretty uh, there is quite some youtubers which is traveling all over the world especially for food uh, they are testing it out and they are saying what do they think about it do they love it do they hate it and so on so on just uh, exploring the world world in a way that would be dead or dream but by any means fellas i'm the lucky fuck which is living his dream already so here you go absolutely if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be your turn it's too early to say because i didn't see majority of the places on earth yet uh, so i cannot say what would be my my favorite place I can answer what would definitely not be a favorite place for her, which would be Australia. <laughs> True that. <laughs> uh same goes for me in order to make the uh, decision where do you want to live do you want to live in japan um russia or kazakhstan or uh, united states or canada or whatever uh, brazil you need to explore those places now it is not it is not possible to say that although i can tell you that probably we are not going to live in lithuania forever that's that's a fact Yes, let's just explain the Australia uh, part, not to, you know, um, make it a mystery. I, there is many, many creatures living there that I am afraid of in, in, a, in a short... Spiders, bugs, uh, sharks, whales, overall fish. Uh, what's more? Did I forget something? Nah, the main things w w was mentioned. Okay. When did Vivi decide to move to Lithuania and what does she work there? I moved to Lithuania like a year ago, I guess around. And I don't work uh, here. I work um, because of the current situation in the world. I work when I used to, I'm working online and I work at the university. So this is my job. I am a teacher in a way and I am also a student um because i'm working on my phd so i'm still doing my things but because of the situation i am able to do it from here for now way too complicated you should play games for a living <laughs> next one can we have a katita special in the next uh, sorry in the second youtube channel like best of katita Sure, we will do it. We will do it for sure, maybe. She will do it, for I sure. I will do it. I spend a lot of time with Katita. I will just take the camera out and I, uh, it's on me. I promise you, Katita, best of. Vivi, what is it like to live with a baboon? No. Be honest. No, good, good. No. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I cannot come. It's a lot of talk. This is... Back? No? Yes? No? Whenever she is not beating me, she is, she is petting me. Whenever she is not petting me, she is beating me. So I believe it is awesome to live with a baboon, right? It is awesome. It is awesome. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of positivity. And in a way, probably, I don't know that yet, but I guess it's quite similar to like live with a, with a teenager. So, you know, <laughs> it's it, is, it is not similar, <laughs> fellas. It is the case. When I am saying I am 13 overall, I believe she would agree with that. Honey, am I 13? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. That definitely wasn't disappointment in her face, just saying. No, now we have a love question. Love at the first sight. I mean, honey, I can tell you that I never ever tasted so good pierogies before. So definitely, yes, from my side. No, from my side, definitely. From the moment when we met in real life, because obviously I was following uh, skill on the Twitch and the YouTube for a long time. And, you know, I wasn't like, I, I didn't fall in love immediately while watching him on the YouTube. It As had, well? I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, when we met, it was quite obvious and it was uh, quite fast how everything happened. I have nothing to say, just asshole. How could you? You know how many beautiful men are messaging me and saying, Skill, I love you? You better watch out. Oh, honey. <laughs> I thought I am the most important. 
Mm. And I am the asshole. Okay. <laughs> what was most difficult to adjust to when you started living together? Um, honestly, probably basic rules of the home, right? For example, I did not mind it that much to leave the plate somewhere or something. And now if I'm leaving the plate somewhere, I'm getting pissed. I am getting... No, what the rubbish? No, what the rubbish? No... And Katita is reacting like this. She knows already what that means, so she needs to run. Well, people uh, will think I am a monster to you. <laughs> absolutely not. No, this is completely normal, and every single man knows that whenever you are living single or something, you you can you can leave some dishes or something. You know, it's not so important. Or you can miss one sock while dropping that into the uh, into the dirty clothes. Uh, how it's called the the bin for that. And now if you are doing that obviously it's a bit different situation so i would say overall we are living so much cleaner uh thanks to vivi uh so that would be the answer and it was it was at first it was a uh, uh, harder thing to do because you know i mean why to uh, i mean i missed the sock from the three meters i will do that tomorrow but now i need to do that now and uh, i am doing that with a big smile on my face or sometimes not <laughs> <laughs> yeah but in general i think we are very similar in a way, we are very similar to each other and uh, there were not many things that we had to adjust to because we just do things similarly, I would say. Sure. Huh? Apart socks. Is Katita jealous, jealous of Vivi? <laughs> no. Nee. 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 Absolutely not. Katita cares about the three most important things in the first place is food in the second place her shit box needs to be clean and in the third place she when she wants hugs she needs someone to hug her that's about it she doesn't give a flying f about anything else apart trying to escape from the home from time to time and we are not allowing her mm -hmm. to because uh, of the dangers which is uh, which is waiting outside for example hitting a car can hit the cat and so on so on and so other cats homeless well, cats that are here I'm, I mean, we don't really have too many homeless cats, but we have some some wild cats. Mm, what yeah. that means? That means the owners are, is uh, they are giving the food for them outside. They are not taking care of them, and that's it. Apart giving them food, that's about it. Mm, yeah. Uh, and uh, before the last part, uh, which will be a fire questions, we have the last uh, open question in a way, and it is: How was your vacations? No. Super. Super. It was good apart couple of things and one of the most important things uh, uh, and I said that before going there it's going mm. to be extremely hot and it definitely was so uh, um, if you are not too hot tolerant person don't go to the Greece for the vacation <coughs> during the summertime go uh, towards the September or, or, or October uh, at that time and you are going to get everything just with a bit better uh, temperatures if you don't really like the heat it is gg also for every single person i would highly recommend to use the sun cream as much <laughs> as you can because otherwise you are going to have a pp on your back so keep this in mind <laughs> yeah it was definitely uh, too hot and in a way it did in we couldn't really use the whole time that we had potentially there in my opinion because it was just too hot you mean i, I what i mean is you know, normally you could stay hours on the beach, you know, swimming in the sea, taking a bit of the sun. Two hours maximum we are done in the, uh, we are, we are, we are back in the room because it was just too hot. So th this is definitely the case, except that everything hotel was amazing. So, uh, and the views, the, the Corfu uh, itself is beautiful. Corfu overall is amazing and everything. But one tip, if you are planning to travel in Corfu, don't go for a most expensive hotel because it's not worth it and the main reason why am i saying so is uh then you will need to make a choice do you want to travel or do you want to kind of waste your money because whenever you are taking the packs which is uh including absolutely everything when you are getting drinks when you are getting food three times a day when you can get everything what you want uh and when you are paying a uh, huge money for the hotel it feels how, uh, some kind of ways to rent the car on top of that and go somewhere so if you want to explore get yourself a budget hotel which is not looking any fancy whatsoever 
um, take the breakfast for yourself before leaving and that's it and th that's how you will explore explore the local cuisine and that's how you are going to get the best use for your buck 100 percent. absolutely i agree and probably we'll also do that in the next travels right to sure we are not going to take as, as expensive hotel mm -hmm. as we did we are going to go in the budget way but we will take maybe a bit better car to travel and we will travel all over the place 100 percent okay and in the end we will have um uh, we will have a part uh, that was inspired by you because you asked a couple of questions where you have two options and you need to choose one so the I thing haven't is seen, I excuse, uh, excuse me yes. I haven't seen the questions so I do not know how how they are looking like and everything I wanted to mention that yeah so the rule is we will have two options and we need to choose only one that is closer to us in a way whatever depending on what it is so first one the first one mayo or ketchup ketchup mayo uh pc or console gaming pc, PC. Huh. good figure or junk food junk, junk food, food. <laughs> <laughs> vacuuming or cleaning dishes cleaning dishes I, I suppose to answer already. No. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, honestly, cleaning dishes. If you are having the, if you are having the dishwasher. <laughs> That's <What>? cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, horror movies or comedies. Comedies. For me, it depends on the it depends on the mood, but uh, comedies. Pizza or burger. Pizza. Pizza. Diving with sharks or jumping with parachute? Both. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. For him, definitely both. For me, definitely not no. sharks. So I am go I'm going to jump from the sky. It's fine. Uh, waking up early or going to sleep late? <laughs> going to, to sleep, sleep late. late. Absolutely. Private island or flight to the moon? Private island. I agree. I mean, imagine that you are naked, you are running all over the place and you are doing helicopter and no one can see you. <laughs> this is this is the best thing ever. Next one uh, for evening and uh, Netflix or YouTube. 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 I agree. Family meeting or parting with friends. Family meeting for me. Uh, I have no bloody clue, honestly. Uh, uh... You see, there is a bit different situations here, so I would say I would say parting with friends. I would I would go like this. Sure. <laughs> dirty car or dirty house. Dirty, dirty car. car. <laughs> That's it. Those are the fire shot questions we had. So, fellas, uh, this is a casual 47 minutes video for you. <laughs> I hope you was very, very, very well entertained. That this is your first look into the VVV. It was a pleasure with you to have a video. Thank you. Uh, and thank you very much for appearing here. Um, we had a bit different idea, which I want to say. We wanted to film everything outside, but there is a neighbor which is which is working with a with a saw. What that mean? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, if you watch it till the end and if you want to see something like this, but maybe in the nature or something uh, for a next time, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. And overall, what do you think about this whole experience, about this video, about this whole vibe and so on, so on. Let me know in the comment section down below, or I suppose to say, let us know in the comment section down below. And uh, that's about it. That was your long a uh, family dose of skill thank you guys it was pleasure to be here for the first time and i promise i will be here more often from now on honey i suppose that this is my job space how dare you <laughs>